Hey, what is up guys? So I'm in my bathroom right now and uh, I'm getting ready for my uh, backpacking trip. And uh, so yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to pack. I bought a bunch of like stuff and I don't know, my room's a mess right now. And uh, you know, it's just I'm trying to get, get uh, ready for my things. You know, got that yoga ball. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna bring that. Uh, so yeah, I will uh, see you guys later after I'm done packing. All right, so uh, we just loaded the van and then uh, we're heading off to uh, the other house to, to get all the food and stuff. And then we're off. So we're about to enter the park, but this line is pretty long. Alright y'all, so uh, we just set up tent and we're just chilling right now. Uh, you know, about to make dinner. But yeah, here's my tent. Got this nice two-person tent right here. Uh, let me show you the inside. We're chilling, boys. Yeah. Dude, it's so nice. Oh, bruh, there's so many bugs, bruh. It's so annoying. It's okay. Um, I should probably get in. We're chilling in my tent. You know, doors open, but the net's closed. So, got quite a bit of leg room, you know. Oh, but the, the pad is too short. Problems of being tall. Yo, look at the sunset. All right, this sunset is amazing. We just ate dinner. And uh, you know, it's getting dark. And then it was we had uh, we had just pretty much like hot dogs, and uh, it was pretty good. And we had some lemonade, you know, some chips, just a uh, typical camping, uh, camping, camping trip dinner. But yeah, look at the sunset. It's crazy. My um, do you do you do you want? Do it yourself, DIY, lighting, and then my little light right there. Um, and uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Peace, first night, let's go. I just woke up, it's 5.50, it's cold. Let me get changed. All right, so I got changed. God, it's cold, I'm wearing a beanie and my jackets. It's still pretty cold, at least on my face. But at least I have glasses now to protect the heat. Uh, also, yeah, <laughs> I probably, I definitely look really weird in this. Wow, look at this. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go take pictures, a few pictures, and then talk to you guys later. About to go hike, well we're walking to the trailhead because the road is closed and we're going to start our journey from White Wolf to uh, Tuolumne Meadows. The first day we're going to be going 13 miles, about a little bit more actually because we have to walk this uh, road to the trailhead first and then afterward we're going to set up camp across the river and then uh, that'll be day one. Going to White Wolf. Welcome White Wolf. Yeah. So where are they walking to my 8.512. But then there's also the beginning road. Entering Yosemite Wilderness. Let's go. So this is Harding Lake. Uh, and we just stopped for. Oh, damn. My lens is so loose. Alright, stopped for lunch. We had uh, tuna and crackers. 
and we've walked how far have we walked? Almost three miles. More than three miles. And uh, we're it's 12:30 and we still have seven. I'll see you guys at the next stop. Second viewpoint. Right, this is uh we're gonna take a little break. But look at this view. This is Hetch Hetchy. Hetch Hetchy. Alright, so our group split up and uh, we're gonna go down and set up tent and filter the water and then relax. But look at this view though. It's so amazing. Yo boys, we're about to die, bro. I'm so tired. <laughs> bro, these raindrops are ginormous. Okay, so we should probably run. Okay, you might think that I'm joking right here, but honestly, in my mind, I was kind of freaking out because in school, they teach you to never be underneath a tree in a lightning storm. So low-key, I was kind of freaking out, bruh. Yo, heaven, relax, bruh. Bruh, it's hail. Ow, that hurt my neck. <laughs> oh, oh, that was my bro. Got a little hat covering. Yeah, hell. Hell Mary. All right, you guys are being covered. We're exhausted. We still can't find the bridge, and the mosquitoes are terrible. When we've been. You know, walking through the rain, the hail, the thunder. But we still haven't even found one single bridge. This is... <laughs> Dad, do you have a map? So Maybe tired. we went the wrong way. You think we went the wrong way? I thought it was so close. And then we just kept on walking and walking. And it's just not even here. Oh well. At least we're taking a break now. See you guys at, ten, uh, at, at camp. I should take a take a dip in the, the river. Tomorrow we got a pretty long day as well, so I'm also gonna try to wake up early. And it's not as cold as yesterday uh, because we're in the valley now. It's nice and nice and temperate, so I'm not even gonna sleep with a sleeping bag today. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Walk 13 miles. Alright. I'm sorry if this is TMI. But I'm actually walking right now to so go dig up my poop hole just in case I need to go poo later. And then I don't have to like, you know, dig a hole right then and there. Alright, this seems like a good spot. I'm gonna do it right here so I can give my, the trees some nutrients. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, bruh, mosquitoes are so bad. I feel so in tune with my roots, bruh. This is all I did when I was in uh, kindergarten. <laughs> Bro, this deer about to watch me go poo. Did you see that? I don't know if you can see. Yeah, he's right there. I was like, who is this guy? <laughs> then I turned around. That was a, I thought it was a. Oh my god. Dude, I think he's trying to go poo with me. Oh yo, look at him. Oh my god, bruh. Dude, this man's about to go sh <laughs> to the bathroom with me. Bro, this is so weird. <laughs> oh my god, I thought it was like somebody else. I was like trying to make some noise. Dude, imagine if a grizzly bear came. Oh my god, that would be so scary. I'd be in, my, in the middle of my poo and I'd just be like, what the fuck do I do right now? Yo, what is up guys? So, uh, what time is it actually? It's already 7. Then I got to this little spot. Uh, you know, it's actually very comfortable. I'm sitting on this little ledge. Just enjoying the view, it's actually very, very nice. Look at this. I think we're going to hike, I think about 11 miles today. Not quite sure exactly, uh, but I'm so tired. Yesterday I did not sleep well either. And this first day I did not sleep well either. And I've just like been like lacking sleep so much. And so the thing is, 
there's like this, I don't know who it was, but somebody kept on sneezing. And when they sneeze, they always say, hey, choo, or something like that. I'm like, huh? Are you talking to me? <laughs> but like, I was like, and then like, later on it became a little bit more obvious that it was a sneeze. Like there was like a choo at the end. But like, at the beginning, it was just like, hey. Um, but yeah, it was very weird. Uh, Yosemite is a uh, freak of nature, but it's a uh, good freak of nature. It's very, very beautiful, and uh, you know, I think John Muir is right. This is one of the, you know, grandest, most majestic, you know, areas of the United States and the world in that case. Oh my God! Just look at this, you know, valley view. You know, I, I started the habit of of getting up early so that I I can see all these wonderful pieces and not just, you know, sleep through them. And it's just, ah, oh, it's beautiful. I'm so want to take a dip right now in that pool. It's so hot outside. I'm sweating. It does not feel good. Alright guys, sorry for the bad quality. I'm using my iPhone camera right now. But uh, we just ate lunch. Had some, uh, you know, dried sausages and uh, some bars and some fruit roll up. Oh my God, my nose is so dry. Right now, I'm on the other side of the riverbank. I cross the river and everybody else is on the other side, but it is so peaceful here. And it's just like at Yosemite, I mean, no matter where you go, you'll always be able to find some sort of peace. And this is such, a nice spot for it. I'm gonna do a 360, you know? 360 degree turn. It feels so nice. All right, I'm gonna lay down actually. Oh! This feels good. Just look at my, my view, the clouds, the trees, blue skies, rocks, mountains. It's actually, really nice because I don't have service so I legit don't get any calls, I don't get any texts, no Instagram messages, you know, nothing, no notifications. It's just me and the wilderness and some other people. I feel so at peace. I don't have any worries. Alright, I'm gonna take a nap. Peace out guys. Yo, we're back guys. We're back on the trail. Everybody's a little tired. My feet hurt. Really? Out of about two miles, uh, at least that's speculation of when we're gonna be at uh, at the our next campsite. But um, who knows? Yesterday was a lot longer than expected. All right, we're threading the needle, dude. What happens if that just fell down on me? Dude, that that would've been bad. It's gonna make this vlog for you, JK. <sighs> okay, so we're at this place. I don't even know where it's called. We're about to go across Mirror Gorge. But look at this view, bruh. I know my battery's about to die, but we gotta get the view for you guys. This is crazy. It's so amazing. All right, I'll see you guys after we cross Mirror Gorge. Peace.
What's up, y'all? So, just got to tent, camp, set up. Now I'm exploring a little bit. The sun's about to go down, but I think I might have a little bit of a elevation sickness or just lack of sleep because I haven't really slept that well in a while. But yeah, let's go. You guys can see it, but I'm sleeping under the stars right now. It's really, really hot. At least the view is good. Yeah, we're just gonna keep going to uh, Glen Alm. Depending on the time, try to find a uh, lunch spot. Oh, we'll get some lunch. We just ate lunch, uh, at least I just did. They're still eating. And look at what I just saw. Look at this tree. It like literally picked up this giant boulder in its roots. That's crazy. That's insane. So I just saw a... Uh, Bear, mom, and its cub, and it was the cutest thing ever. I tried to take a picture of it, but uh, it, they just looked at. I, I was very shocked at first. I was like, oh, "What am I supposed to do?" Because it was literally like, like six to ten feet away from me. And I was just looking down when I was walking up the hill, and I looked up, and I was like, "What?" And then they just looked, stood up, looked at me, and yawned, and they just crawled off. I was like, "Whoa!" Here's the. Uh, Water wheel falls. Look at this view. Alright, so we're at Leconte Falls. This would be all covered in water if it was uh, <coughs> late spring, early summer. But unfortunately, we, I mean, it's still massive. But this is all we get to, for uh, this year. But yeah, back to the trail. It is so peaceful here in this little grassland-ish area. It's beautiful. I love birch trees. When I grow up, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna grow so many birch trees in my yard. Oh, it's gonna be so amazing. All right, anyways. Peace. So this is actually California Falls. So we we accidentally. Uh, yeah, we uh, overestimated ourselves and we thought we passed California Falls by like another, like two miles. But this is actually California Falls. That means we still have a few more miles to get to the camp, so. Ah, re! And then it's already, it's already like six o'clock. All right, we found our uh, campsite. Oh, I just like climbed up like this like cliff and then look at this view though it's beautiful I would imagine that the orange glow on the trees is gonna be like the, one of the most beautiful sights all right hold up <coughs> just take a look at this view <coughs> the Sun is finally out and wow it is amazing. I don't know if you guys can see it well, but 
Look at the layers of that thing. I just dropped my camera. I don't know how. Like, I was using it the entire time. And I was just walking up and it just fell down. But I scratched it there. And then my lens just got destroyed. But, like, it still works. <laughs> it's still functional. It just has scratches. Look at this meadow. It's so beautiful. Yo, okay. We're about, I don't know. We have like a mile and a half left this trail a little bit before. We were hiking on a little bit of a section of the John Muir Trail, which is actually uh, quite interesting. Last day, last hike. Overall, I think the trip was very really good. The views were amazing. However, I will say the hike is really, really hard. And for a beginner like me, it was difficult because I got a bunch of blisters and even though I did carry one of the heaviest, heavier packs of the uh, group. Alright boys, I'll see you guys later. Like a minute we'll be at the end of our trail and we'll be done with the white wolf to tuolumne meadows four day backpacking journey here's the gate and we're done finally oh <sighs> wow so now i think we're gonna climb lambert dome which is uh this peak So we just climbed up Lambert Dome. It's so beautiful. <laughs> we got lost for a bit. <laughs> and we we're, we we're trying to find how to get up here in the first place. But once we got up, it's actually very, very peaceful. There's like nobody here. I think it's really worth it, to be honest. All right, that concludes our trip, I guess. Peace. Peace.